What a great pleasure here at Unity Health Harris Medical Center to get to visit with Dr. William White, who we saw just a couple of months ago here on our program, and talk about uh, Continuity Care Clinic. But first of all, welcome to the program. Thank you, sir. I've been looking forward to it. We had a little conversation prior to get on here, and an interesting, interesting story that you have, a life story. But briefly tell us a little bit about you and, and med school and things like that, and, and Tell us how you got in this profession. My folks urged me to go into it. There were family members. Uh, my dad was uh, superintendent of schools at Rosebud for about 10 years, first part of my life. Then we started moving and to better jobs for them or uh, better paying. I don't know they were better jobs. <laughs> and uh, I wound up graduating from Little Rock Central. Okay. Uh, participated in sports there went to the University of Arkansas, lettered in track and field, have a degree in music, and uh, met my wife there. Then I went to medical school at the University of Chicago. Okay. After that, I went down to the University of Arkansas and did an internship, then three years in service, and then uh, four years in residency and fellowship. I went to Searcy in uh, 1970, and I was there for like 23, 24 years. After that period of time, I received and accepted an invitation to go down to the University of Arkansas and, and the VA. I was associate chief of the VA and uh, a professor at the med school. Along the way, you were impressed when I told you about this, but yes, I, I worked uh, with the U.S. Olympic team. Amazing. And I helped uh, with the women's volleyball team and boxing. Now that's about as far apart as you get, <laughs> it right? Is that? Yes, sir, it is. But if you've got any women out there, tell them I know they can jump. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, it's so interesting to be able to work with the Olympic team. And, and uh, uh, we talked about so much. We talked for 30 minutes before we got interviewing here. And very, very, you're a very interesting person. You've done a lot of things in your life, and then just and we are going to do a show. We're going to we're going to do right. a show later on, sometime in the, in the, the late spring or early summer, and just sit down and visit. But interesting people are what we're looking for. Now let's get to Continuity Care Clinic. We have that here. It's kind of new to mm -hmm. uh, the Harris Medical Center, and, and, mm -hmm. and, and you're kind of the director of that. Tell us exactly what that is how that works, and, and what are the benefits for the folks here in Newport? Good. Basically, what a continuity clinic is, is that they are required, the residents are required, a half day a week for a three-year period of time to come and work and see patients. And they are all doctors. Right. And, uh, but they have to take this as a part of their training. We have loved coming here. We have been made to feel really welcome. I did this for 10 or 15 years at UAMS okay. and, and the VA, uh, but I would do more than a half day at a time. Sure. I would do a, an afternoon uh, every day. I don't know that we've ever been made to feel any more welcome than we have here, and we entered this with some anxiety. Sure. I knew I knew what to to do and what to expect, but they're new to this. But people have made them feel very welcome. The rooms, the floors, the ceilings, the walls, all redone for us. Right, right. Uh, we've been told by everyone that we're welcome, and. We have wonderful uh, staff. I have staff that is so good you wouldn't believe it. You, you, have, you have doctors that are here on Thursday, and yes. internal medicine doctors. Right. It, what, tell us a little, you don't have to tell us who they are because we're going to be interviewing them throughout the, the next several months, but tell us about being there on Thursday and what these guys bring to the table. Energy. Yes. And enthusiasm, and they've been given a lot of pride in themselves and it reinforces to them that they have the skills to take care of patients. Now, what do I do? I see every patient with them. So in essence, they're my patients 
for yeah. supervision. Sure. But uh, they are seeing them themselves. And after they get through seeing them, they come and tell me about them in length. And I then go in and visit with the patient. I examine the patient. And then we sit down and talk about what we're going to do with the patient, make the plans, uh, write the prescriptions and so forth, order tests if we need them, give them appointments to come back so that there is truly continuity of care. Now, here's the other deal. They are required to do this for three years. Okay. So continuity of care means that they come in and they see the patients the first year. Okay. The next year, they're back again and they can see the same patients. The next year, they're back for their third year and they can see the patients. So the patients get to know them and vice versa. It hasn't totally been decided, but it's quite likely that I will, I will keep graduating with them. Sure. And it means that I'll be up here uh, two or three days uh, total. Sure. Hey, I mean, it's interesting that, I mean, the continuity care clinic, which is, uh, uh, you know, we're across the street from the main part of Harris Medical Center. and in, in, uh, We think we're in the main part. Y'all are in the main <laughs> part, no doubt. <laughs> Dr. White, it's very, very interesting. Good to see you, sir. And, and, and let me tell our, tell our audience, this guy has done a lot of, lots of things in his life. Very, very interesting. And, and when a guy tells you that he's been a part of the Olympic training and he tells you that he sings opera also, and has done so on the stage, that tells me that you're pretty diverse, sir. Thank you, you're kind. <laughs> Dr. William White, who is the Director of Continuity Care Clinic right here at the Unity Health Harris Medical Center. And let's continue on with more of our show. Have a nice day. Unity Health Harris Medical Center, we're talking about the Continuity uh, Care Clinic. Dennis Yecki, good to see you, good my friend. Good to see you again, David. We saw you uh, a couple of months ago when we had our open house and we talked about what we're trying to do, but we wanted to, uh, to remind folks about uh, continuity care and the clinic. And first of all, tell us your title and what you bring to the program. Well, I'm the director of operations for, for the program, so okay. I'm the one that kind of keeps everything moving. Sure. To, and uh, and I say I've been with the program for about a year now. Okay. I got there at, from just before we got started, so I've been... Th- been ramping it up all the way through. What does it take? What does it take to, as the director and, and uh, awesome responsibilities? And, and, you know, I have learned so much about what continuity mm-hmm. care is, but tell the folks who don't know, what, what exactly is that? Well, I mean, our program is much more than just the continuity clinic. That, okay. that, that's just one important component sure. of it. I mean, the, okay. the, uh, the residents are here for, for three years and every month they change rotations and to do another another aspect of medicine. Okay. The continuity part of it is every week they spend half a day at a, at a clinic seeing patients just like a family physician would. Okay. And the whole idea of the, the word continuity, people are confused by that, but the whole idea is that these residents will, will, start, will see these patients for the three years that they're in the program. So okay. that, that, that's the continuity. They, they're developing that long-term relationship with, with, the, with the patient. And what exactly, is this part of training to, tell me about the training okay. part for these guys. All right, well, these, these are all doctors. Okay. You know, they, they've, they've completed their four years of medical school. Okay. And uh, they're here for, you know, depending on what specialty you're going into, you have, you have a different length of residency, uh, three or four years. And some of them are even longer than that. You get into the, you know, some of the surgicals and things like that. But the, uh, we have uh, three programs, three different types of, of residency programs at the hospital now. Uh, family medicine, that's, okay. that's what most people are familiar with, you know, your, 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 fam- sure. your family, family doctor. Family care physician. Yeah. Family care physician, yeah. yeah. And uh, that's, a, that's a three-year program. Okay. And uh, right now we have, we have uh, four residents in that program. And eventually we're going to get to 12 and hopefully 18 wow. over, over the next couple of years as, as, the, as the program grows. Second part of it, we have internal medicine. And they're family physicians, but they, they, they don't treat the little ones. You know, they, right. they, they're, they're more at the, at the other... 18 and over is sure. g- gener- generally, generally what they treat. Okay. So, uh, so they're, they're here for a three-year program once, once again, and we currently have eight in the program. Wow. And uh, this, uh, starting in July, we expect to add 10 more, and then the year after that, 10 more. So eventually we hope to get up to 30, 30 residents in, the, in that program. 
And, 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 that, and that's where really Harris is going to benefit from it because, uh, you know, right now we're doing this continuity clinic one day a week up, right, up, here, right. up here at Harris. Starting in July, we're going to go to two days, two days okay. a week. So, and then our third program is, is the is psychiatric medicine. Oh, wow. And oh, wow. That, that, that's a four-year program. Okay. And we, right now we have four, and eventually we'll, we'll get up to 16 in, in that program. And then uh, we're adding one more, hopefully July 1st. We'll, okay. we'll, we'll should know here in the next, uh, next couple of months or whatever, and hope to add emergency medicine to our, to our uh, residency program as well. And uh, start out with 16 residents on that and eventually get up. We'll start out with four this year, okay. probably four, okay. maybe six. And then uh, eventually uh, get up to uh, 16 to 18 residents in that program. Let so, me ask you this, Dennis, and it's, it's kind of interesting stuff. Uh, where do we get these doctors? Where, where, do, where do they come from? I mean, do we recruit these doctors, or are they calling us? We're calling them. How, how do they get here? How do they get to you for you to get them okay. to us? That, that, that's a very confusing way. Uh, okay. you know, the uh, doctors, when they come out of medical school, go through what's called the, the, ma the match. Okay. You know, we, they, many of them come, we, we interview them, they interview us, and, and then we do a is a ranking. We, we, we rank the ones we would like to have in, in, okay. in the order, and then they wow. rank us, and, and then the computer puts it all together and, uh, and, and tells us which residents we're going to get uh, you know, at, at, at our program. So, uh, you know, they come from all over the country. You yeah. know, you know we've been, in fact, we have, our, we have some more interviews uh, on the 15th of January. It's, it's going to be our final set before, before the, the match. On February 8th is when we find out right. which residents are coming, but we've had them from uh, you know, New Jersey, New York, California, wow. Arizona. You know, we're, we're hoping, I mean, our, our real hope in all this is, is to get the majority of our, stu our residents from, the, from Arkansas, Missouri, kind of, we call, call it the, South, the Southeast Conference, so to right. speak. I got you. Know? I got you. Because, you know, the, the, the hope is that uh, many of these physicians will settle down where they are. The, 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 uh, the studies show that uh, residents t tend to stay, about 60% of residents stay within roughly an hour of where they do their residency. Wow. So by bringing these doctors here, our hope is that many of them are going to settle here in Arkansas. Sure. Because, I mean, I, mean, I, I think it's no secret in Arkansas that you know, the, we, we need doctors. You know, we, rank, we rank 48th in the nation per capita. So you know, right. you know, we're, we're blessed in White County and to some extent even up here in Jackson because you've got this, this great facility here. Absolutely. But, yeah, but some folks have to drive a long way to get to, to, to get they to do. see a doctor. So yeah, we're hoping do. many of these folks settle down here and you know become part of part of the community. And uh, yes, already talking to a couple of them, and they say, "Yeah, I plan to stick around." You know, so we're we're, we're excited about that. Well, we're excited yeah. to have you here, no yeah. doubt about that. Before we go away, I, I just I want to ask you to tell me a little bit about you. Tell me a little bit about growing up. How long you've been in the medical profession as such? Tell me a little bit about Dennis Yecky. Oh man, that's that's not a very interesting story. I, I bet it would be. Well, I I. Uh, Joined the Marine Corps right out of high school. Uh, did, did 20 years in the Marine Corps. Uh, went in as a private, ended up retiring as a major. Uh, wow. af af after I retired, then I went to work in the, uh, in the governor's budget office in the state of Virginia for about nine years. Uh, then I moved off to the uh, state of Minnesota where I was the deputy commissioner of the State Department of Employment and Economic Development. Okay. Then I had the honor of going down and working for Jeb Bush in Florida as the yeah. de deputy secretary of a, of a Department of Business and Professional Regulation. And then I did, uh, I did th um, three years with the State Department. I did uh, two years in Iraq and one year in Afghanistan, uh, wow. working for the State Department a as an advisor to, to, the, to the local governments. With my, I guess I felt my, my military background and my government experience wanted sure. me to you know, be able to be an advisor to them. So that was, that was quite an interesting time. Uh, it's a very interesting story. Yeah. And, very interesting. Yeah, and, and as far as medicine goes, other than having been a patient, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I started. I started uh, started with the program just about a year ago now, in J January Good of deal. last year. So I've been with it from the start. So it's been it's been exciting. I didn't have, didn't have the, the medical background, but you know I had the project management sure. experience that uh, that, that set, seemed to have lent itself to that. So you know we've been in Searcy for just about a little over eight years now. My, my wife's a professor at Harding, so okay. so, so that, that's what brought us here, yeah. and uh, it's been uh, it's it, it, it's been one of the best, it, it, not one of the, it has been the best move we ever made, you wow. know, to, to, to come to Arkansas, you yes, know, sir. it's, uh, it's been a, it's been a, the, uh, just, just the friends we've made, our kids are yeah. surprised, our kids are surprised by, they said, mom, dad, you actually have a social life, you know, yeah, and, you know, you know we, 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 we never had that, and, you know, yeah. just, the, you know, the, the strength of the community, the strength right. of the, the, the church and everything, it's just, just been 
so refreshing and, and Unity Health is just a, a great place to work. You know, they're very, very supportive of, of the community, of, of, of its associates and, you know, now the relationship we have, we have with Harris, you know, it, it's just been, a, it's just been a win-win for, for, for everybody. I, I hope to be here for, for a long time. Well, I hope you are too, yeah. sir. I, there's yeah. no doubt that this is a great program. We appreciate, the, you know, the hard work and the endeavors that you guys have to do to try to make it work. Dennis Hickey, yeah. good to see you, my Thank friend. You. Thank you. Appreciate Let's continue it. on with more right. of the show.